Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. We left off last episode with some event spawn troops uh, popping out of Rome, like fucking zombies from the grave, and trying Maybe. to cut me off in southern Italy. But I'm just going to... I've got a lot of troops here, so it's going to be relatively easy for me to just wheel some back around and take those guys out. Not going to be that big of an issue. Indeed. I'm currently preparing my troops for a war against Spain. Of course, first I'm gonna have to transport them over, but... Ooh, and I forgot. Well, uh, I, I've got, like, a thousand Stugs about to come off the production line. <laughs> Stugs or Romanian Stugs? I'm not exactly sure what they would be. I'm assuming I just stole blueprints from the fucking Germans, so... Um, possibly. I don't know what a Romanian home-built uh, uh, assault gun would look like. I mean, I I, uh, I I imagine, like, somebody's grandmother pushing a howitzer in, like, a, a cart or something. Oh, I managed to sink an uh, Iranian convoy. Oh, <laughs> right! I'm at war with them, and I should actually be progressing over there. I managed to sink another convoy, so they are actually losing some unity out of that. Oh, nice! By Not Rome. much, but... Oh, oh right. Norwegian uprising. Losing provinces to the Italians, I know. Because they spawned in some, like, fucking... What are these? Are these motorized? No, they're air airborne. The what now? That looks like airborne Oh, infantry. yeah, they are airborne. <laughs> That's Italian paratroopers in Rome. I kind of love that. Well, they get cut your supply lines. Yeah, but they also, uh... Oh, they, 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 they're they retreating out of battles without actually fighting at all. I don't anticipate them being too tough. <laughs> right, so I was supposed to... Oh, researching some of these things. Um, I don't think I need that one right now. It looks like they're making, they're just making beelines for a lot of the ports for some reason. Not exactly sure what that, uh, that behavior is, but okay. Major victory, what is this? Battle of Naples! Oh, they're, they were counterattacking Naples. I forgot about that. No, actually, you didn't have Naples so before you, just now, so... Oh! I was attacking Naples. I was attack attacking. All right, we'll get those uh, supply. Well, I mean, it's not like we're we didn't have ports down here, so. No, I don't uh, know if I have uh, any. No. I don't really... to improve my rare material productions in a few places. Yeah, I'm gonna need. To, I'm gonna save up my my stugs until I get the the tech I need. Oh, I'm actually. I need, I need more stuff on my production queue now. Uh. Okay, quick. Um, uh, you know what? I don't have any CAG. Or, yeah, no, no, not CAGs. <laughs> um, close air support. The other one. <laughs> CAS. Yeah, I was like, yeah, let's get some uh, uh, combat air groups over by aircraft carriers. Let's do that. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be, it'll be great. Although there have been times in this game where I've lost uh, um, uh, aircraft carriers, but sa managed to save the um, planes. Uh, the planes. So, and, and I didn't have anything because the aircraft carriers take so long to build that they just ended up being used as like normal, normal stuff. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, I guess let's build another infantry division. Do -do 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 -do. Um. Yeah, this is. <laughs> I love this. Dukes are rolling off the production queue, and uh, just getting, just hanging around. We're just sitting there. All right. Yeah, we've uh, we plugged we we we've plugged up this little uh, uh, expedition in the in the the rear of the lines. All right, that's fine. Okay, uh, so tech, I gotta look at that because it is a, uh, is it a tactics thing. It's assault concentration is what I need. Yeah. And that will be done in April, and then I can do superior tactics. Okay, good. So I've got that coming. 
All right. I think I'll probably improve the infrastructure in my capital and surrounding areas a little bit. That is a good idea, especially for you. I mean, the thing is, they're not, they are fairly expensive to make at first, but they don't take all that long time. So yeah. they improve your construction practical quite quickly. Oh yeah, you can get your practical up on those real good. All right, ammo capacity, take that off. Payload, any payload? But I guess I take those two. Fuselage. Any avionics, bomb sites, put those on. Uh, now, where is my transports? Oh, they're off the coast of France now. Good. Uh, burning? On fire? Sunk? Sunk and on fire? <laughs> Allow single battalions? I don't think I've ever used those before. No, I don't think I've used them either. Special forces upgrades. Well, special forces count as, let's see, airborne. Oh no, I guess that's not, well. Hmm, that's not a big deal for me. Okay, that's fine. We're just going through my tech here going, what could be upgraded? <laughs> Fair enough. Because it's uh, it's 1941, so there's any of the 1942 tech I could put on there safely. Yeah. Yeah, heavy AA guns, yup, yup. Anything artillery related, most definitely. Self-propelled self anti-aircraft guns. Love it. And by the way, once you get the high-velocity guns, you can actually start making the heavy anti-tank uh, battalions. Mm-hmm. Ooh, home front coordination. That's a good one. Civil defense. Could be good. Okay. But Actually, I've got... <laughs> when you look at a ball in a, in a condensed area like Italy, I got more troops than I thought I did. <laughs> as long as you don't think too hard about it. Yep. So, as long as I'm working on a four-province-wide front at the best. I mean, that's the thing, uh, all the difficulty with me attacking Spain, because I have a little bit less troops than you do, and the front is a lot longer. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. All right. Oh, I got. Oh God, I got tanks on the production queue too that are coming. I forgot about that. Like, like whole tank divisions. Delightful. Oh yeah. Blah 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 blah. Tank divisions. All right. Let's see here. Small caliber gun designs under armor is to. Ooh, ooh, that's really good. All right. So as soon as this, so April. 19th assault concentration comes off. Once that comes on, I can put on the other one. Hmm, probably Iran is trading with uh, Germany. Shocker. Because I'm uh, stinging their convoys going to Stettin. <laughs> yeah, every single time you say uh, Iran, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> that. Alright, uh, let's see here. Oh, the Italian surrender progress is uh, fairly nice at this point. What's that? 84.7%. Pretty good. Let's see where they're. Let's take a look at the VP map mode. VP map mode. Uh, and let's see, we're about to take another five pointer. That's not gonna do it though. Yeah, you might need to take out Palermo as well. Yeah, uh, I think so. Or make a landing in uh, Libya. I hope I don't have to make a landing in Libya. That'll be annoying. Oh, Germany's at war, right. I forgot about that too. They're actually doing things. Oh, what was that one? Oh, Light Infantry Brigade activation. Oh, Italian HQ. 
Oh, I bet all of my, I bet everything in my oob, like half my oob is out of range, but that's okay. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. There's no fight left in the Italians. Not if anything, I can pull a lot of these troops out of Italy just to uh, help with the supply situation. Hey, remember Russia? Yes. All right, go back there, guys, <laughs> where you came from. To the Russian border. Yeah, excellent. I feel a little... Oh, no, you don't want to go to the... Okay, just go go there normally then. There's, there's just this one army corps that is just going to get mocked relentlessly because they never fought the Italians. <laughs> just the one. They've been sitting garrisoning the Russian border this whole time. They're going to get back and going to get mocked horrifically. I mean, they don't have the experience out of that, so they are not going to be faring as well as the others. Mm-hmm. Although I don't think the difference is going to be all that huge. Like, so where were you when the uh, when uh, the Battle of Venice was completed? We surrounded tens of thousands of Italian troops in the Alps. Oh wait, you were on garrison duty. <laughs> Ooh, rockets! Ah, motorized infantry. Finally. Are you going to do motorized infantry? Uh, not right now, so but maybe you, later on. Can you put wheels on a ski? <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, nice. Italy is just chocked full of IC. Oh, yeah. Anti-tank ammo advances. Oh, uh, let's see. When can I add a war? Oh, right now. Add acquire territory. Um... My Glogoslavia, not your Yugoslavia. Let's see. Actually, I'd probably start moving these troops to port as well. These poor Italians. They got they got no fight left in them. I'm just constantly hammering them. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, okay. I think I'll put the final cavalry unit down here in southern Sweden. For garrison, oh, well, anti partisan tissue. Italy is at 93.8 after the last, uh, that last uh, actual mainland Italian one uh, fell. So now we gotta go to, I think it's Palermo. If I can get there. Gotta figure out if I can get across without the Italian Navy being jerks. But if I don't, if they, well, no, they'll have ports in Sicily. Yeah, I mean, one thing that you can do is if you have uh, your bombers and close air support, you might be able to bombard the enemy ports and destroy their Navy that way. Yeah. Actually gonna put on some naval bombers. Those are really good. They are. Put on. Put on a run of five naval bombers. I gotta. I gotta try to keep. Ooh, light bomber designs. Oh, finally. Uh, let's go back to technology because I'm pretty sure those are horrifically out of date. Mildly out of date. Right, how good can my anti-tank uh, Italians uh, do now? They've still got less than six. Let's see. Production, brigades and battalions, sort by piercing attack. My tank destroyers are up to eight piercing. Actually, I do have... And you have some no, that I, I have... built. Yeah, I got some of your designs, but I don't have my own. Not yet, at least. Why would you need your own when you have superior Romanians at your back? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that is uh, one way to specialize in the research. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been focusing quite heavily on the interceptor technology right now. 
I'm just glad that my light bombers are <laughs> I really like light bombers in this game, and they're finally getting upgraded. Oh, I'm out of spies. Yeah, um, so am I. Well, I don't need any officers right now. I don't need any diplomacy right now, so we can do a little bit more espionage. Get those numbers up. Those are rookie... Zero! Those are rookie numbers. Oh, it's running to progress. Yeah, 94%. Yeah, we're getting there. there. We're getting there. Yeah, the problem is that the next points are... If I'm Not lucky, I'll be able to just walk across. But I don't think that's going to be... <laughs> I don't be lucky. Yeah, yeah that's uh, quite a lot to ask. Did you watch all of the EU4 yesterday? I watched um, a fair bit of it, but I was watching three other streams as well at oh, the same <laughs> time, so... Yeah, uh, at the the end of it, because I lost... The, the, the first one we tied, and then I lost the, the tiebreaker. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the second one, um, I basically bid low, and he bid high, and he won. Uh, so that was fine, because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that as Ming or, or Korea. I'm just not that kind of a player. But uh, the last one, which we were doing for fun, which was the kill wall one, where you have to get as many much gold as possible. Um, I started off really, really good. I got the event in U4 for the 100 Tradition General right at the beginning of the game, which was amazing. And he oh. popped off with four siege pips. A four siege pip general in, in 1444 in EU4 should be able to just go up to a fort and scream the walls down. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I got into a situation where I had two sieges of enemy capitals going, and the one was at 42% and the other one was at 49%, and they I went three years without either of them completing. Meanwhile, the enemy walked up to my capital and got it in six months. It was. It, Sounds it, like a magnet lock. Yeah, yeah. I was in there screaming at my screen, like, "What is this?" It was like, "This is the best general ever." How are you failing? Oh man! But like at that point, I had already lost, so it was just for funsies. So it was, and yeah. I was, I was plastered by that point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that that competition was so much fun. I I really want to do like a community competition like that too. See what see what I can get Paradox to put up as a, as a prize. Hi. Um, do I need to take that? No, I took Penny out. I'll take Rabbit for you. I'm going to grab that. Oh, I did actually manage to get one of the rare material extraction in Helsinki already. Ooh. No, Japan, I'm not helping you. They're still asking. <laughs> yeah, Japan is now fighting uh, UK and all that, but they're not fighting against China anymore. China. Let's see. Okay, two more days for assault concentration, and hopefully the uh, superior firepower won't take that long. Oh, Japanese have made uh, landing in Indochina. Really? Let's, let's yeah. zoom. Zoom! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, I wonder if, is that, what was that maybe one of the, like, the, uh, event spawned ones? It could be. Right, I got another ten divisions going to Spain right now, and once I get a few more divisions, I should be able to get another five, so that's twenty-five divisions. And there's not sure if it's gonna be enough or not. One would hope. Let's see, uh, technology, tactics, oh, I thought I could have, oh, no, there it is, superior firepower, yay, I was like, I can't have it, no, I'm just looking at the wrong spot, <laughs> right, put that to the top of the list, oh, it won't be done till October, ugh, yeah, it's a long, that one's gonna take forever, Well, might as well just keep attacking the the poor, poor Iranians. All right. Yeah, I still need to take, uh, I think, three victory points over there to win. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm sorry, Italy. I'm not. J well, I, I, I would be sorry, but you were kind of a jerk with that whole pop it into the backfield there. So now I don't feel bad. <laughs> Start pulling these. You might actually be able to surround the enemies in there. Make a huge pocket. Yeah, probably. You know, 
know, I should probably just start putting on some uh, fresh, just, just regular infantry divisions on the production queue. That'd be something good to have. A lot of my cores are, are not full. They're partials. Ah. Yeah, I'm thinking like of so it's a good idea. It's, it's effective. Um, I think most of them are four, four divisions in a core. I can definitely, I know one, one I just found was only two divisions in a core. I can definitely round that out. Those national decisions, airports and seaports. Excellent. Right, where? Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there goes the civil war in China. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, did... well, I mean, it basically ended. Well, I'm just looking at China right now, and I only see the A. Their name got Wait, cut, their name got cut off somehow. It just says A. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> China, you don't deserve the rest of your name. You're just a nation. <laughs> now, I might be wrong, but that kind of seems like a bug. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb. Say say that's exactly what's going on there. I think I'm going to actually have to build one heavy cruiser as well. Fairly expensive and oh, it's yeah. going to take a long while, but I do need some long-range ships. With absolutely no practicals, the ships take forever. The problem with with big ships is that, that uh, unless you stagger constructions, um, by the time you get one off, the, the, the practical will have decayed from the next one. Yeah. Unless, unless you're a uh, you're going really heavy on the navy, the, the construction practicals on ships aren't going to stack up too well. All right, let's just go mechanized infantry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh well, that that changes things. Yeah, that's not something that would be useful in Germany. Oh yeah. Well, I was just about to start putting some normal infantry on the queue, and then, then mechanized infantry popped. I was like, oh my. <laughs> but yeah, Germany has uh, pushed uh, through Belgium now. They've Not Schlieft. far away from Paris. Ah, there we go. The, the Schlieff continues. Right, those are two armies. That's just infantry sitting around. So let's grab you guys. Go to Russia. Boop. There you go. Ooh. Combined arms integration advance. 2% extra combined arms bonus. Delightful. That's a good one. All right. Now, when are you guys going to arrive in that province? Tanks? I know you're zippy. That's not a battle. There was nobody there. Arrive May 1st. That's right now. Oh, 10 hours from now. All right, go! Come on. Come on. Yeah, that seems like a pretty nice pocket Ooh, there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's see, who's inside there? Oh, there's a... Oh, they're already gone. That was only 465 men. That whole stack was 465 <laughs> men. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't think they were combat effective at that point. Nope. I was like, it's got to be like a whole army corps. Germany invites us to the faction. Nope. The, 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 the great name of no faction faction will not be besperched by Germany. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to detach you from there. Okay, so despite my main uh, theater HQ is in Helsinki, uh, it can still command troops in Portugal. Oh, yeah. And they, they definitely increased the command range of a lot of things. Mostly, they I think, be. because Japan is annoying if you don't. Yeah. 
And I'm actually okay with them increasing that because oh, so in yeah. vanilla it is very annoying at times when yeah. you need to constantly move the HQs. Yeah, that that's definitely one of the vanilla changes they made that I was like, yeah, I'm I'm fine with this. You know what? Um I'm thinking mechanized would like a couple of mechanized divisions would go great filling out an armored core with the yeah. uh, with the three tank divisions I've got coming. Why is this mountain infantry not attached to anything? You're bad mountain infantry, you should feel bad. <laughs> Apparently, I just never attack. I'll have to fix the oob. Well, that's that's generally how it goes when things start g getting crazy. It's just like, oh, fuck the oob. I just got to make sure the line doesn't fall. Yeah. However, I do believe we are out of time for this episode. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying this series of Hearts of Iron 3 multiplayer. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Goodbye.